welcome back to my little channel now i haven't had a lot of videos about covid in the last time hell i didn't have a lot of videos lately but i felt i had to make a few more the one i'm going to make today is about one of the doctors that was outside of the white house some time ago trying to tell the world that we're being lied to when it comes to covid now there were a bunch of doctors out there talking about their experiences whilst using, for example, hydrochloroquine or zinc and how it worked and how they don't understand that the narrative keeps being told to go against using hydrochloroquine or zinc or yada, 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 blah, blah, blah. Now, they're not saying COVID isn't a dangerous disease. What they're saying is we knew that we could do better and we didn't for political reasons. Now, obviously, there are those who totally disagree with these people and therefore what they said must have been wrong. At the same time, the way they react to these people kind of proves to me that what they say is correct. Now, I have more proof of the fact that they are correct, by the way, but I will do that in a different video. I still have to make it, so I can't link you to it. The thing is, these doctors are being silenced the video got removed from youtube and twitter and facebook pretty fast and one of the doctors an emergency doctor um, got fired from a job after people learned that she spoke out was she wrong no 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 it's not that she was wrong it's that she said something that certain people don't want her to say so she lost her job now i'm not an american so obviously i can't comment on american law on this but to me that seems somewhat how do you call it I, th I think the word i'm thinking about is criminal now obviously it's up to her if she's going to fight it or not and I can understand that even if you would fight it, you won't really want to win. Because let's be honest, if you work in an environment where speaking the truth is considered a crime, hell, even speaking a lie to be considered a crime. I'm not a big fan of, for example, Game of Thrones, but there was a statement in that series that was rather true. When you cut out the tongue of the fool, it's not because you are offended by his jokes, but because you are afraid that other people may hear it. And that's what's going on. I mean, every story speaking in favor of certain medication and certain ways to deal with this illness are being cut because the only story that is allowed to stand is wear your mask keep your distance and wait for a vaccine but wait a second if we have working treatments we don't need to wear a mask fuck the distance and to hell with the bloody vaccine but no 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 you're not allowed to think and doctors that steer away from the standard narrative will be punished you don't believe me well, you could ask Dr. Simone Gold. Now, a link to the article will be downstairs. Like, share and subscribe if you feel so inclined. Criticism, as always, is more than welcome. And, and you know what? If you disagree with me, if you think I'm wrong, let me know why. But let's be honest about this, shall we? See you all next time.